everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA action on 2 K Sports. This is Brian Anderson with Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. And giving us the rundown from the sidelines, reporter Ali LaForce. Now Jokic. Right wing. Here's McGrady. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. McGrady clearly a shoot first type of player, which forces defenses to get aggressive with him defensively. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah, I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> yeah, it does make me look back a little bit, but I could never throw it down like that. It sure does look good. Shot by Leonard, no good. Here's Limbanyama. Pass to McGrady. Off target from outside. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. And here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. Just good awareness from Leonard there. Feeding a wide open guy instead of forcing his own shot. And Kawhi Leonard, one of three perimeter players to win back-to-back -back Defensive Player of the Year awards. It's him, Sidney Moncrief, and a young Dennis Rodman. Jokic up top. 4-3. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Here's Porzingis. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. The big man throwing it down. Kristoff Porzingis. When you're 7-3, though, doesn't take much vertical to punch it home. Here's Bull. Here's Jokic. Rejected by Jokic. They get it back. And a deep three from Leonard. It's hauled in by Wimbanyama. And here comes Cleveland. It's a three-point game. And for his career, Kawhi Leonard has more steals than fouls, Grant. You know, B.A., he and Jimmy Butler, I believe, the only two players to achieve that after a decade in the league. A pretty remarkable achievement. Defensively, you have to stay connected to him on the perimeter. From deep three-point range, McGrady shot is off. Leonard for three, and it's Smith with a rebound. Just over two and a half minutes played here in the first. Pass to Porzingis. To the wing, right side. McGrady, good. Seven points in the game. Nice look from Porzingis. Good vision there. That's what he has to do with the ball in his hand. Scan the floor, see what's available, keep his teammates involved as much as possible. Leonard for three. Controls the rebound and the putback. Great activity level on the boards. Impressive. Wow. Pass to Wimanyama. And he lays it up and in. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. The green light they gave him early should probably turn red. He needs to get others involved. Porzingis for three. Yeah, with a rebound. You know, at the end of the day, size does matter, especially on the glass. Wimanyama. It's tipped. And they'll keep possession. Here's Yao. Second chance effort. Pass to Leonard. And 
the dunk by Leonard. Boy, a wicked dunk by Leonard, showing this defense just how explosive he can be. There's 57 seconds left to the opening quarter. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. And there's a pick to the inside. Here's Leonard. That falls. Nice feed from Jokic. Leonard's got nine. You see how composed Leonard is close to the bucket? Knows exactly how to score at will. Here's McGrady. Tracy McGrady. Sinks it from distance. He's got ten. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. Here's Wimadiyama. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. Here's Jokic. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, I love how crafty Jokic is. You know, he basically baits defenders into committing the foul once he gets deep position. Well, he's certainly been on target with the free throws. Such an advantage when you're big to knock him down from the line. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. They lead by five. And back. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, their offense is clicking so far, capturing the momentum here early on. Yeah, you know, I agree. No warm-up needed. They came in on fire and have already built a nice lead. And <laughs> once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there. Just takes his two points, moves on. Magic jump. Hey, guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. McGrady, shot is off. James, outside. All sorts of time. That one a tad offline, but it drops in for him. James has got his first bucket in this one. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. Amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. Eaton can't hit. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Here's Johnson. Seven-point game. Biggest lead so far. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. They're very true, B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top-five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. Pass to James. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. Durant for three. Shot clock at six. Here's Eaton. It's deflected. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown. For Cleveland. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. They've also been quick to set up their teammates, wasting no time making the extra pass for the open look. Oh, Simmons throws it down hard! And the amazing moves of Simmons. I mean, he's just so much fun to watch when he's got the ball in his hand. Pass to Eaton. Three-pointer. He's off on that one. Here's Bull. Looking for his first basket still in this one. <laughs> Man, the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the end one. That one falls, so he hits both of them. 
Every trip up the floor gets more and more important. Yes, indeed. They badly want to stop the bleeding here. Tipped away. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Simmons. Whenever Simmons gets a chance to show off his insane bounce, he takes advantage of it, really demonstrating how lethal he is in the air. Magic Johnson. Johnson with a bucket. Three. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Two minutes remaining. Here's McGrady. Two minutes. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Back to James. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the half. Six to shoot. To the middle. Durant. And it's slammed in by Durant. Yeah, you know, it's like the game is in slow motion for LeBron. He sees the entire floor and sees it so well. Knows what's coming and usually always makes the right pass. And it's good for two. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. And James puts up a deep three. James. Sinks it. What range from downtown. Well, I don't think anybody is expecting this shot. LeBron showing some confidence with that long bomb. The size advantage gives him a clear path to the shot. LeBron James. And early in his career, Porzingis was a shot creator. You think he can get back to that ground? You know, B.A., yeah. In Dallas, his role was more catch and shoot. So it'll be interesting to see in a different system how active a role KP can fill, especially going to work inside. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. There's 39 seconds left in the second period. Left side, Johnson. From behind the arc. Porzingis grabs the board. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Hits a three-pointer. This dude is capable of some memorable moves. He's showing off and having a little fun. Here's Eaton. Driving in. It's hauled in by Eaton. Pass to Porzingis. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Porzingis has got eight here in this quarter. Defense has struggled with Porzingis in the paint. I mean, he's able to shoot right over most defenders. Jacks up a three. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Here's Simmons. Pass to Porzingis. And a slam dunk by Porzingis. You know, Simmons is a platinum level passer, and he has a really good understanding of when his teammates are open. And an intentional foul right there. I mean, I'm just not sure what he was thinking right there. I mean, he needs to get his head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. He's the last guy you want to leave alone on the perimeter. Leonard outside. Here's Jokic. And the dunk by Jokic. At almost seven feet tall now, Jokic can definitely throw it down. And he's having to remind defenses that he can do so. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. Leonard, good. An excellent job of taking what the defense is given. Pass to Smith. Back to Jokic. Here's McGrady. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. 12 points for him. Another high IQ pass by Jokic. I mean, he knows all eyes are on him, so he gives it up to a 
ready shooter. That's just good basketball. Just over a minute and a half played in the third. Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. To the paint. Here's Wimbanyama. Deflected! You'll see the block from Schmidt. It's about once a game on average. And boy, does he have an extensive reach. Pass to Jokic. Here's Schmidt. They grab their own miss. Cleveland calls timeout. Inside. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. He hails from the Netherlands. Rick Smith's not just a 7 4 guy. His free throw numbers tell you he's got a really soft touch and good skill, too. So he gets them both. Leonard for three. And it's Smith with a rebound. Outside Porzingis. Down low. Oh, it's Porzingis with the jam. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Hey, they've got a nice, comfortable lead here, fellas. Might as well keep it simple. Do it a plain, simple one-hander, just like pound cake. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. To the middle. Shot to stop the run. You know, it's good seeing Porzingis work really hard on the defensive end. Does a nice job staying in position and contesting and challenging the shot without foul. Jokic gets the bucket. You know, they've got to make him earn those threes. You play off of him, and he's automatic from that distance. 